And just disclaimer that my under eye bags are really bad because I'm not wearing makeup. And I just started school this week, so you know, I'm going through it right now. And yeah, just don't mind them. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Yamel, and today I have a room transformation vlog. Or, well, it's more like a room transformation vlog. And I say that because I'm not like fully, fully, fully transforming my room. Like I didn't get new furniture or anything, you know, because I, I can't really afford that right now. Like I need to do with what I have. But I did like move my room around a lot. Like I moved my furniture around. I added some stuff to my wall, took stuff off my wall, um, bought these little things, bought things to like help me organize it a lot more and kind of just make it a space that like I feel really good about. I feel like it just shows more who I am rather than how my room was before. So a little backstory. I have not, um, what's the word? I have not like redecorated or re or not removed or like moved my room around ever since my family and I moved to this apartment we live in and we moved in like almost three years ago. So my rooms always look the same. Like my bed was always in the same place. Like everything was always in the same place. And like I wasn't a big fan of it, but before it wasn't like a really big deal because I was like hardly ever home. I was busy working, busy with school, like all these other things. So I would literally just come to my room to like sleep. But now, you know, like I spend so much time in my room, like I do class here, I do work here, I edit, I have meetings, like everything, you know, especially because like I do need to be in my room. Yeah, to have peace and quiet to be able to focus, you know. So, um, yeah, since I've been spending a lot of time here, I was kind of just like, you know, like I'm not a big fan of my room. Like I feel like it's just been looking the same for like three years and like I needed a change, honestly. And like it wasn't like a super drastic thing, but I did buy some things that I feel like just made it feel more like more me or like more good to me you know because i'm obviously not the same person i was three years ago and i've been having the same things for like almost three years and like that doesn't mean i switched like everything because i have a lot of the same things but it was just like a nice little change and i feel like it just shows me a little bit better and i just thought it would be really fun to take you guys along the process so you know like moving my furniture around how that looked like because me and carlos were like in the struggle honestly to do it um just vlogging everything that like i bought so you can like see the whole process of the transformation that took took like a month you know and not saying i was doing something every day it was just like a process happening and like i started school and i've worked i've been working a lot more so you know lots been going on so it definitely delayed it but yeah i just thought it would be cool for you guys to see how it went from like the mess you will see very soon to like feeling more put together spacious and everything so i really hope you enjoy but anyways i'll stop talking now so we can get this video started <laughs> want to do like a little room update so as you can see we moved my furniture around so my vanity's here and I actually have it open right now so you see my freaking mess in there but that's my vanity um my bed also a mess we hung up that board I bought and then we moved this here um I still have to declutter this I honestly don't know I'm gonna do all this stuff I have my trash can here I'll probably move it over here it's just here right now. My plants still don't have pods. Like, look at those really sad. That is the next thing I need to get. Um, yeah, this frame doesn't even have a picture. And either way, everything on this windowsill, when, is that what, yeah, that's what it's called, has to get moved because I'm gonna actually put curtains. So I wanna put definitely my plants here. Um, I got a jewelry organizer, so that'll be going there. My bag just looks like an awkward space because I moved my vanity because my vanity used to be more this way. So um, now that I moved it this way, like all the stuff is like in an awkward spot because this used to be right on top of my mirror because it was just like my vanity and my mueble. So yeah, everything just looks like awkward and I haven't moved it because I don't want to move it till like I have the stuff it's going in. But yeah, like just, just, just me over here. Um... But yeah, so I'm getting like a jewelry thing to put my necklaces in and I'll probably end up taking away 
this like little ring thing because I think they fit in there. I need to figure out what to do with my freaking sunglasses too. I haven't even thought about that. And then here I have a freaking mess too of shoes like just thrown because usually I always had two pairs of sneakers here. But then I would wear those two sneakers all the time because all my shoes were in my closet. So like I kill all my sneakers when I do that, especially when they're white and black and I wear them with everything. So I brought all like my shoes out here, but now it's like a freaking mess right now. So I got a shoe rack. It's going to be like right here in this area too. Yeah. And then yeah, that's my sister's birthday gift. I already wrapped it. And then this is a box of stuff that I still have no idea what to do with. Hey guys, so I thought I would include this part in my room video because I just got some packages for my room that I'm excited. I don't even know which ones they are. I don't even know which ones they are because I literally ordered so many things in my room. So I got this, um, what's the word? I know it, garland? garland? for like what well, affect flowers for my room because i used to have my polaroids on this like yarn and stuff um but i don't know i just i feel like the the yarn was yellow so it was like a big deal but i just wanted something cute to like put them on and so the little like um laundry pins i use that's what they call them but those that i used to like put them on i'm gonna color them green with my marker so they kind of like blend into this and it's just not like brown sticking out uh, but yeah, I wanted to get these because they have like good little spaces to like put the pictures in. Okay, and then this. Oh, there's two things in here. <laughs> so I got a tapestry. And I never, I never thought I would want one of these in my room because I always thought they were cool in people's rooms. But I don't know. I just never thought I would just get one. I don't know. But I was like, you know what? We're doing my room. My walls are gonna look blank, and I also don't want to put. I also don't want to put too much crazy stuff on them. Or not like crazy, but I just don't want it to look everywhere, especially because I really feel like my furniture doesn't match because I have like brown and white furniture. I just just me being like annoying about it, but it's like I want at least everything else to like kind of match. But yeah, so I got this white like Mandela thing tapestry. I don't want to open it. But I got it in white and silver because it just goes with my room or at least somewhat because I have a lot of things that are white because white, if you haven't noticed, is like one of my fave colors to wear and to have stuff. I don't know. I just feel like it's just so clean. Like you can't go wrong. Except sometimes when you wear it because it'll get dirty. Yeah, and then silver, I think it's just also very more neutral than gold. I like gold, but I feel like Silver and white are just more neutral together. And I don't know what is in here. Also, mom, if you're watching, I did put, I did spray Lysol on. I don't even know what else I got. Oh, yeah, I bought, oh, I don't know what they're gonna fit. I bought some little pots for my two little cats that I feel like there's a word for them, right? There's an actual word, or I don't know if those are in it. I don't know a lot about plants. Judy, what is the word for like plants that are like cactus? Succulent. Succulent, there you go, I knew there was a word. But anyways, the two little cact cacti I have are just in like those little like black pots and stuff that aren't pots really, but plastic. So I finally bought some pots and I hope these are like big enough for them. And it comes with like a little wood panel. Oh, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. I just got two of them because I have two little ones and I have to see if they fit. But yes. And now I need to find a big white one for my big cactus, which I call Fern. Her name is Fern. And Fern has been with me for two years. I think it's going to be three years in December. Yeah, I love her. And I still haven't bought her a pot. Like she's been surviving on like bowls and like cups and stuff. She really is a trooper. I'm surprised she's still alive. But I love her. And I need to get her a pot too. But that's pretty much it. That's all I got for now. I'm supposed to get more packages tomorrow. So I'll have an update. Okay, I just got the shoe rack. Also from Amazon. I got here today. Um, four tier closet shelf. I'm not even going to show you because there's so much stuff on my floor. But you'll see where I put it. But I'm just going to like put it by my door um, for my shoes and stuff. So I have all the boxes out of the way. Okay, and 
I also got this little jewelry box uh, to like, it's supposed to be able to separate. Yeah, to put, oh, <laughs> it's upside down. There we go. It's supposed to be able to like separate or I think I could change the shelves around if I want. But yeah, for rings and then more space. And then this base, which I'm trying to fit the necklaces I have on this wall there. Um, but I don't know if they're going to fit. So we'll see how I do. So I went to the thrift store with my mom today, literally because she wanted to go. And out of luck, I literally found the perfect pot for fern. And it was like $1.50. So I'm so happy about that. Like, it's just, I just, I was looking for one. And I was like, we'll see if I find one. And I thought I didn't find any. Decided to walk through the aisle again. And there it was. And she fit perfectly. So I'm so happy. Hey, guys. So I forgot to vlog this completely, like, unboxing stuff or unpackaging stuff. But I went to Ikea today and I got this comforter. It's supposed to be a warm comforter. I don't know. It has like feathers in it and it's like really thick and it's like really, really cozy. And I've been wanting this for a long time. And like it was a, it was pretty pricey. I'm not going to lie, but I've been wanting one forever because I've been wanting a weighted blanket. And this isn't a weighted blanket, but it's like really like heavy too, like heavier than a normal comforter. So I got that. I'm so happy. So because I got this, I had to buy like, um, they're called duvets. No, that's not it. This is the pillowcase I came with it. They're all wrinkly because I just washed them because my mom has me like wash everything before I put it like on my bed or in my room or anything. So that's why everything's a mess and wrinkly right now. So I got like a white duvet because obviously I love my white bed. I love my white comforter. So I just got it in white and it's all wrinkly right now. I have to put this in it so then my bed's gonna be all white and fresh and white and then it came i keep saying white i know and it came with pillowcases and then i bought these two pillows from ikea too and they were like 3.99 y'all look at how like thick this is this is like i don't even know how to get it but it's like so like i just grab it and i feel like the inside whatever it is i think it's like feathers or something i don't know but it's honestly pretty heavy when i was taking it out and i am so excited it's gonna make sleeping so much better so now that you've seen you know like everything i bought for my room to like make it better i'm gonna show you what my room like before <laughs> i'm gonna show you what my room looked like before now this is a warning it was honestly like a really big mess like i didn't even bother cleaning my room to record the clip of like when it was a mess because there was no point because I was going to move everything around. And also so you guys can see the mess I was living in, like the mess I was doing everything in, you know, so I'm just going to be real with it. So I'm going to show you that right now. But like I said, just don't judge me, OK? <laughs> yeah, I know that was bad, but this is what it looks like now. today's video i hope you enjoyed this like combination like vlog video thing um i guess it's a little bit of both but i really hope you enjoyed i just thought it would be you know fun to bring you along the process to kind of show you you know how i just tried to like make a space i wasn't like feeling into something a little bit better and like i said it's not 100 percent the way i want it to be it's not my dream room but you know like i'm making do with what i got and i'm honestly really happy with how it is i feel so much better like being here feels more me my space my colors white pink are like what i'm into right now so it just feels so much better but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel give this video a thumbs up and comment what your favorite thing i bought for my room is or like what you think looks the best or if you have any like advice on like any other ways I can improve my room, I would like gladly accept those. But thank you again so much for watching and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.